Well, over the last number of years, I've talked a couple of times about the Alberta Hunt Log app. It's it's embedded into the iHunt app, which a lot of Alberta hunters are, are using. Um, but for some reason or another, uh, the Alberta Hunt Log has not really caught on. So I thought it was time to maybe reach out to the person who's been working diligently behind the scenes to put all of this together. Uh, Sue Peters is a senior biologist with the Alberta Conservation Association. And Sue, I know you, along with your team, have been kind of scratching your head a little bit. Maybe just before we go into the, um, the details of, of what you think the issue might be, just briefly give us a an overview of what you were hoping this app was going to achieve. Yeah, so we designed Alberta Hunt Log to be um, a really useful feature within the iHunter Alberta app for hunters and recreationists to keep a log of what they're seeing, the wildlife they're seeing while they're out hunting, berry picking, hiking. Um, and we also designed it so that they would have, hunters would have a log of their wildlife observations and harvests. And then that summary would appear in their Alberta Hunt Log dashboard and be helpful for completing their annual game harvest surveys and, and applying for draws. So, for example, a hunter would know which wildlife management unit they log the most animals, for example. So, yeah, we've been... Um, hoping to create a feature in, in a tool that hunters and, and a lot of a lot of hunters already have in their hands, the iHunter Alberta app. So create a tool, a feature in there that would be useful for hunters as well as provide um, really solid data for biologists, Alberta Conservation Association biologists to track trends in wildlife, harvestable wildlife populations in Alberta. So using that data to calculate things like the number of animals observed per hour, for example, or the number of bucks to doe, or the ratio of bucks to does on an annual basis. Was there a shortcoming in terms of the information that was submitted to the annual survey results uh, that were collected at the end of the season and, uh, and, and, and that you felt, okay, well, there's the opening, there's the, the reason why we wanted to develop the app? Well, those um, the data that's collected in the annual surveys is is great, and so this would be a supplement to that, also a supplement to um, aerial ungulate surveys that are conducted. Um, but and yeah, so we know that hunters are out on the landscape, recreations are out there, and they're seeing things, and so we thought this is a citizen science initiative that could collect supplementary data from a broad range of of people who hunters who are out. Um, seeing things <laughs> so as i mentioned off the top this has been ongoing now for for a few years um mm -hmm. what's the status where, where are you at right now yeah so right now we're in the fifth season of data collection for alberta hunt log and we the we've built our user base a little bit so over the first few years we really built it, it built up and people were checking it out we're using it and it's tapered off in the last uh, couple of years so we've had about uh, just just around a thousand hunters users um, check out Alberta hunt log some have submitted one survey some have submitted a lot of logged a lot of trips in Alberta hunt log but ideally we'd love a lot more um, a lot more data coming in from from hunters and get them using the app um, hunters who are using Alberta hunt log already just to also use Alberta hunt log as a feature within that app obviously there are tens of thousands of hunters in Alberta um, yeah. and and with with such a small I guess, sample size. Do you feel that um, there is still some skepticism um, among the hunters about sharing data uh, this way? I think there's probably in the hunting culture or hunting community, I think there is a little bit of mistrust. They feel that they'll be giving out something, you know, their own personal favorite hunting spot or where they're having the best success. Um, but I have to say, like it, and I mentioned this a lot. Alberta Hunter, Alberta Hunt Log respects user privacy, and we don't collect any names or exact locations. Everything is um, collected at a wildlife management unit level. That's the the level at which um, harvestable wildlife are managed in Alberta, and so we don't um, we don't collect any exact locations. So, what's the next step, <clears throat> then, Sue, in terms of, I guess. Uh 
uh, of is it? Let me back it up. Is it a redesign of the app, or is it a is it um, a new type of campaign to go out and try and educate hunters? Is it uh, um, a combination of both? Maybe uh, where where are you at? And I guess it almost sounds like you're you're coming back uh, to the drawing board on this. Yeah, I can't really say how what strategy we'll end up um, choosing, but yeah, we're we're kind of taking a step back this year. We're doing some user experience um, analysis and and um, gonna take a take the a focus group approach and look at get some hunters uh, hunter feedback and um, find out like what what's holding them back from from using a tool like this, like Alberta Hunt Log and asking some questions and really um, trying to take a user based focus on this. Like, are we meeting your needs? What, what will intrinsically motivate hunters to participate in, in this citizen science type of approach? Um, yeah, well, so we'll see <laughs> multi multi pronged approach, I think is what we'll have to have to take. How important is it to have the current <laughs> users of the program maybe um share their experiences not just with you but but with their peers oh absolutely like i would love to um have hunters just say hey you know hey look i i have all my observations and harvest summarized in my dashboard here this is great i can use it for my game uh harvest game summary reports at the end of the hunting season um and also not not only word of mouth but there's also a chance uh, within Alberta Hunt Log to provide feedback through a survey with built in within the app and that's great because we get that feedback and we can help use it to help make it better so, so there's different ways to give feedback yeah I'm, I'm I apologize um as a biologist um and and the fact that um uh, you folks take a very scientific approach to 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 studying and to understanding um, wildlife and and that type of thing. How confident are you in terms of the information that you get in from a citizen science perspective that that information is reliable? Yeah, that's definitely top of mind when we designed Alberta Hunt Log. So it's a balance between making it easy to use as well as getting high quality data at the other end at the back end so we've built in some checks and balances so if someone enters you know i saw 99 moose for example you know there's it, it there'll be a pop-up saying hey are you sure <laughs> so yeah those are things that we've learned along the way this is year five and we've as we've encountered data quality issues we've built in fixes for things like that to keep that from coming is it a question, Sue, of, of, I guess, demonstrating the value back to the hunter? Like, if you participate in this program, use this app, um, in the long term, um, maybe it helps your hunting experience i don't know i i'm 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 just spitballing here but mm -hmm. it, it how do you how do you get back to the hunter apart from oh you're contributing to the greater good of an understanding of our of our animals but there's something tangible that hunter can take away knowing that okay if i participate there's some benefit to me absolutely yeah that's that's super important in any kind of any citizen science initiative we we aggregate all the data at the end of each hunting season and summarize it in in heat map style um, summary summaries on our website so that if i'm let's say a moose hunter and i want to know kind of what what how many moose were observed per hour some trends in across wmus and across years i can go to the alberta hunt log website and um uh, look at, at at maps of some trends like that. So we do try to provide annual feedback to hunters who use Alberta Hunt Log or any anyone who goes to our website. Um, and yeah, we're also hoping that beyond practical feedback like that, also that hunters will find some intrinsic motivation, like, hey, I'm contributing. I'm I'm out I'm out and about I'm I'm on the landscape a lot and I'm contributing back to um, wildlife management. So. so just 
I guess to to wrap this up, um, even though you are maybe taking a step back, um, is the app still available? Are you still encouraging hunters to to use it until such time maybe something new gets rolled out? Oh, absolutely. Alberta Hunt Log is is still rolling. It's still available in the free version of iHunter Alberta, and we're still promoting it. It's it's a I think it's a great a great tool, and we are just hoping that the more the more hunters that use it the better so we're hoping the word gets out all right so we'll leave it there thanks so much for your time and uh Perfect. you know continued uh success in in terms of of convincing alberta hunters that this is a valuable and and useful resource um, not only for them personally but for hunters and and wild, people who care about wildlife here in alberta thank you